Hi, here is a video on how to uh, set up your problem for the geometry project. So here we have a triangular prism and if you remember the project says that you need to have around 150 um, centimeters cubed worth of space inside the prism to be able to hold the fundo. So I know what I need. I need to make sure this rectangular, sorry, this triangular prism can hold uh, about 150 centimeters cubed. So I'm going to work with that exactly. So what I want is I want to know that the volume that I have of this figure would equal. So the volume is going to have to equal 150 centimeters cubed. Now I just need to to figure this out. I need to go to how I know to find volume. So I determine the, the shape of the prism I'm going to use and then the formula for which how I would find the volume for that shape. So I'm deciding I want to use a triangular prism as my shape and so I need to think to myself well how do I find the volume of a triangular prism? So I would do um, one half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle and that's going to give me the area of the base and then I'm going to multiply that by the height of the prism. And remember the height of the prism is the distance between the triangles. So um, that's really bad writing but that's what I'm going to do. So let's see the things that I do know. I know that when I get done doing that volume I want it to be 150 centimeters cubed. So what do I know so far? Well, I know that the one half has to be here. I know that this triangle, here's the triangle here, okay? That the base of this triangle is eight. And that the height of this triangle is six. And so that's how I would find the area of that triangle. And then what I, the other thing I have here is the height, but the height is not given. So I'm gonna put just H here. Because I don't know what the height is. But I know I'm going to multiply the area of the base times the height to get the volume as 150. So let me work out what I have so far. The area of the base would have to be 24 because when I multiply 1 half times 8 times 6 I get 24. I'm going to multiply 24 times this height that I don't know yet and that has to equal 150. So how do I figure out, oops, my bad. So now what do I do? So I know, I, what do I multiply 24 by to get 150? Well, to find that answer, I'm solving an equation. I'm solving, let me show you the sol equation I'm solving. I'm solving 20, oops, you're not going to see that over there. Just kidding. I'm solving 24H, 24 times H equals 150. Well, to solve this equation, I do the opposite to solve. So I'm going to divide by 24. Then H equals, and I get 6.25. So that would be, that means the height here would have to be exactly 6.25 centimeters if I want to have the exact volume of 150. Now I'm allowed to be over 150. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use 7 instead as my height because I'm allowed to be more. So then now let me recalculate the volume with my new answer of seven. So I'm gonna do one half times the area of the base. Sorry, the area of the base is one half times eight times six and I'm gonna multiply that by the height. Now I'm gonna use seven. So 24 times seven is. So I have worked out that my volume is actually going to be 168 cubic centimeters. So it's not going to be 150. And I'm going to use this, okay? And so um, I use this work to get my answer of 7, but here is the actual work for the volume. My actual work for the volume is um, that I multiplied the area of the base times the height of 7. And there you go, that's, that's the actual volume. So the next thing I need to do is find the surface area of this prism. Okay, so um, to find 
is a six. To find the surface area, I need to find the area of all the faces. So the faces of this prism would be two triangles, and I already have how to find the area of those. I know that the area is 24, because I've already done that twice. So there's two triangles that have an area of 24, plus there are three rectangles. So let's go around and find all those rectangles. The first one I see is back here. And it's six by, now this is now seven, because I determined that to be seven. So one of the rectangles is six times seven. Then another rectangle will be down here, is eight by seven. And there's all, one of the numbers in these rectangles will always be seven, because that's the height. And then the last rectangle is a slanty one over here, which is seven by 10, so 10 times seven. So there's the side lengths of the triangle, six, eight, and 10, six, eight, and 10, and I'm multiplying all of those by seven. So that means I would have um, 42 plus 56 plus 70. And then the answer would be, so when I add all those areas together, I got 48 plus 168 is 216 centimeters squared. So there is the surface area of that prism that I'm making. So I found the volume. Here's the volume. This one's the volume. Here's, oops, here's the surface area. Okay, good. So now I just need to find the price. I'm going to, so I'm going to use the fact that they're charging um, half of a penny per square centimeter. So um, 0 0.005 cents per centimeter squared. So that means I, for every centimeter squared, it's a half a penny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the, the surface area because that's the total amount of square centimeters. I'm going to multiply the surface area times this unit rate. So that equals, that equals a dollar oh eight, and that's a dollar eight. That's not per centimeter squared anymore. That's a dollar eight for the for the prism. So that's it. That's all of the steps you have to do. So first, I had to um, draw <clears throat> a sketch of the dimensions, but this one they already kind of started for me, and then I figured out the different dimensions because I knew where I wanted to go, and then I divided to get my last dimension. So that's my suggestion. Start with the area of one of the faces, and then divide to figure out what the, what the third dimension would be. And then when I didn't like that, that it was 6.25, I changed it to 7, which then it's kept me within my range because I, I had to have a surface area between 150 and 175. So 168 was within that range. And then, I'm sorry, my volume. And then I went and I found the surface area. I found the surface area to figure out how much material I need to make the box. And then finally, I found the cost based on the surface area of $1.08 for the prism. So all that work being said, I have done all the work for my triangular prism. The next step will be to make the triangular prism and to um, put that in my presentation. All right, thanks.